Today, or tonight actually, because it is 7.20 p.m. I am working on these painted pots. Of course I grabbed the worst one. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm getting these little labels off. And that's how I'm doing it. I'm soaking them in these tubs. I've been wanting to paint some pots for a while now. The camera's like really low. I like bought this little tripod for my phone specifically just to start a studio vlog. And I can't find it anywhere. So hopefully I'll find it somewhere around here. But who knows. normal for a little bit um we also got a kitten who's attacking my camera and my rings right now um here's my wedding ring my engagement ring and my wedding ring in case you're interested i will show you clips of the wedding now if it wants to focus if you want to focus while and so with all this wedding stuff it's been like I Those are the fresh and clean ones. The ones on the right right here, I didn't do these, they didn't have any labels on them, but I want to paint them. So, that's where we're at. I don't usually wear these glasses by the way, but, well, they're like anti-blue light ones. I got them from Romley. I love Romley. But yeah, and my hair's like never up in a bun. <laughs> I always wear these earrings though, these hoops. I wear them a lot, or I like just like small earrings. I just threw on these glasses because I like them. <laughs> okay, so here are some pattern ideas I have for these little pots. Yeah, I was thinking like, I wanted to utilize this color of the pot, the actual terracotta. And yeah, I looked up some ideas on Pinterest as far as like some patterns of some ceramics. And I thought it'd be really cool to do just like white on this terracotta color. And I also was thinking like pink, like a very light peachy pink in like a pastel lighter blue. Maybe yellow in there somewhere, but we will see how this goes.
time to do this design on the next pot. I think it's pretty cute. Hey, it is, <laughs> let me start over. Okay, so it is July 15th, it's a Thursday, and I'm gonna be packing some orders today. I have, I hit a record as far as orders in one day, which is four. <laughs> Which to me, I was like freaking out. So I'm like super excited about it. I know that might not seem like a lot to some people, but to me, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> four in one day. Um, anyway, yeah. And I'll show you what I've been working on. Here is my Paris pack, I guess you'd say. I don't, I haven't like figured out exactly what I'm gonna call it, but my Paris girl, and this poodle, <laughs> and then I have this magician card I've been working on. I don't know why it's, I gotta focus, there we go. Cute little rabbit. Here's some other like uh, cards that are already finished up on my Etsy shop. Here's a new wedding card, wedding cake card, and this is continuation of that Paris like either sticker pack, I'm gonna make notepads and things out of it, but I'm not exactly sure. Eiffel Tower, Paris Girl, I just love the beret and the sunglasses. And then we've got the Mona Lisa and my style, the Louvre, gelato, those yummy delicious things, and yeah, the French flag. And then we've got butterflies. I didn't end up using this one, although I liked it, but I feel like it didn't work as well with these flower or <laughs> these butterflies, but I'm making notepads out of these butterflies, maybe something else, but I also want to make temporary tattoos out of them because I think that'd be super cute. Got these that I painted. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with these. At first I thought maybe just like some sort of sticker pack. Yeah, but I really like them though. Like I think that's really cute. I have a couple more cards, the balloon girl birthday, which I took out the blue in, on my computer and when I was editing it, I feel like it looks better that way. And this graduation card, yeah, like just being crushed by all the books. And then this says on the digital version, you did it. Also, I wanted to show you guys some of these sketches. Um, yeah, here's some like cute fruit, I'm like, been mulling over the idea of this. Just like putting faces on inanimate objects because I've never really done that before, but I feel like it's something like just where I'm kind of evolving, I guess, because I do it to animals, like expressions of animals. So I really like these. I like the angry apple, the mixed emotion grapes. I don't know, prophetic pear is kind of fun. And then this is, this is just some girl from Instagram that I did, Jack Benek, however you say that. And then I just did Surge from Chrono Cross in my style because I'm playing the PlayStation Classic. I love the PlayStation. I was like begging my husband for it <laughs> for Christmas and thank you. He got it for me. But yeah, I've been playing that and Spyro and... Legend of Mana, oh my gosh, I love that game, but anyway, yeah. Couple more sketches. This is like my 
my uh, sketchbook that I only do in just my style, I guess. Like my other sketchbook I'll do in other styles or like just like realistic or just things that I'm working on. But this one I just do in my style and I've like, my style's been evolving lately, which I'm happy about. Um, I used to not do any noses on girls. I'll show this right here. So this, like, no nose. And then I've kind of, in like, just a circle for a face. But now I've been evolving to more that direction where I have more, of, more angles to a face, which I really love. And this is kind of where that started. This Alice one. I mean, it was Merelda. I want to do more Disney princesses and paint them and everything. Okay, I have this thing all clean. I'd like to put it in my studio permanently, but as you can see, there isn't a lot of room, um, and it's kind of messy, I need to clean it. I feel like I'm just a little bit unorganized, I need like more storage. Um, anyway, but that's another a time for another day. I would like to put this somewhere, maybe on this desk. This is my studio desk. It takes up that whole thing, but it's not high enough for packing orders. It hurts my back to like bend over. And sometimes I use the printer on top of that to pack them. That's kind of what I've been doing. But since I have a few more orders today, I just thought I'd bust this baby out and maybe sometime I'll find a permanent space. So this is how I have my greeting cards right now stored. I just have this little note card type thing that I wrote on and then I have them in shoe boxes because we have a million of them because my husband he manages a shoe store. Okay, it's two o'clock and I need to quickly package these so I can get them out before three. Um, the post office is just right around the corner so I can leave kind of late. That's what I usually do, so. I'm going to finish these. seem like a lot but to me this is a lot this is awesome for one day I'm so excited okay I am heading to the post office to ship my orders I've got my little bag my bike 
from the post office is like a, maybe a three or four minute bike ride. So here I go. It's going to be 91 degrees today. chemical pencils my husband just got a grocery pickup and I got them from Walmart I'm excited to use them because I haven't done a lot of mechanical pencil like sketching so this will be like good for precise lines and things like that <laughs> Okay, so today is Friday. I've already been working in the studio. I have been working on my next printout of cards because I need to make another order. Um, I sold out of my Hippo card and I'm low in stock on a couple other ones plus I have some other designs that I just did. So I'm doing that. And I pretty much finished this one. This is a balloon girl card. But the print isn't gray with my printer, so ignore that. But um, yeah, I'm excited about this one. It's cute. Happy B Day. She's like holding the balloons. Today, I'm hoping to uh, contact the printers. I want to get some like proofs of the cards. Um, I put this table in. I was packing on it yesterday and I wasn't thinking about keeping it in here, but I found a spot for it. I'll show you guys. So here it is. Um, ignore the clutter. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get that cleaned up, but um, yeah, it's nice because it is to my hip height. It just like slides into my space. I have like space between my shelf here, my desk, and my bookshelf and everything. So I just have space to walk through right here and just go up to it. And I like to do some standing desk work here, packing. And then I hope I maybe I'll do painting here, but I like to do that at my studio desk. So we'll see.
I'm sunburned. Okay, today is Monday and it's been a few days. I have a sunburn on my forehead. <laughs> Josh and I did a disc golf tournament and I won the women's division. Woo! And it was my first like official disc golf tournament. I've done one night one, like a night. It was like midnight to like one o'clock or something. Anyway, I did one last year with Josh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. But today I am going to pick up some test prints of my greeting cards. I sent those in to get test printed like last week-ish, like Thursday or something. And I asked them to kind of quickly do that because I have some orders waiting for, these, for this next print. So yeah. So I'm gonna go pick those up and make some adjustment adjustments. Hopefully they turned out good. Yeah, let's see how they turned out. Okay, so I just got done at the print shop and I picked up my prints and they look really nice. Well, my test prints looks nice, but they printed on the wrong color of paper and the wrong paper and then also they printed again and I'm pretty sure it's still the wrong color of paper. But she claimed that it was, it was, I printed on natural paper and she said that this was natural and I, she reassured me it was natural but it looks white. So I'm gonna have to go in and compare it to my other cards to see if it's like actually natural. I'm hoping that it's like not, I'm hoping it's the right color so that I can just make the adjustments and then get the print order in so I can send out the orders that are waiting for these cards. Okay, so I brought my test print inside and it was the wrong paper. Yeah, I kind of felt like I knew that when I asked her, I was like, is this white? Or I said, is this natural paper? And she said yes, so I was just trying to take her word for it, but it's not, it was white paper. I called them back, they're gonna be doing another test print for me, and they're gonna call me when that's ready. Printing for me is like always like this, I feel like it's always like difficult for no reason, I feel like. I'm just gonna sell these cards as like the imperfect in my imperfect batch. I'm gonna be putting something like that up on my Etsy shop. Yeah, just like some sort of mystery grab bag. I'm getting a call from them right now, so we'll see what they say. Okay, so I just got off the phone with the print shop and they said that the printer guy left for the day apparently and he shut the printer off and it takes like 45 minutes to boot back up so they can't print my third test print at this point. They said that they could print it first thing in the morning for me, so I guess that's what I'm gonna be doing in the morning is going and picking that up. Yeah, so that kind of sucks. Hopefully I can fill my time with some sort of productivity. Now I have more orders waiting for my hippo card, and specifically my hippo card. And I'm out of stock on that. Hopefully it won't be a week. Um, they said it's gonna be probably two to three days, so I'm assuming, so today's Monday. If I put more, put my order in to tomorrow, tomorrow, I feel like I sound like a Canadian today, then it'll probably be, so hopefully done by Thursday, or if not, yeah, probably Thursday. 
Anyway, the life of a shop owner, I'm sure you, you guys out there who have your own shop, you know the pains of printing. Yeah, I was like spent hours and hours in the print shop. But still, there's still things that happen that are completely out of your control. Like the lady was new at the print shop and they lost my like account or something on there. So they had to make a new account and I had to retell them everything. Hopefully tonight I can make it productive <laughs> somehow. Um, I'd like to get back to Twitch streaming. This is kind of a side note. Um, I haven't streamed in since before the pandemic. I haven't streamed my art because I used to paint live. And um, anyway, I kind of miss doing that and it's a lot of fun. And yeah, and now I just thought, I love watching studio vlogs. I love watching Furry Little Peach. I've seen some Sarah Faber vlogs that I really like. This is the test print. Um, I think that they turned out good. The lighting isn't great right now, but there's my wedding cake card that's brand new. This is my hippo card that I'm like changing a little bit of the coloring on. Here's my new butterfly card that I'm super excited about. It's just a blank card. And I'm also making like notepads, different things like bookmarks with these butterflies. And these are the, also the butterflies that I'm thinking about making temporary tattoos in. I think that they would be cute. I love butterflies, so that's the plan. And then I didn't do, do another test print of this. Age is a relevant card. I'll show you guys the difference in the coloring. This is the difference between the two colors of paper. This is natural. This is obviously not natural, it's white. This is the color that it's supposed to be. So that's why the, like, I need a new test print that they're giving me tomorrow morning because I need to make sure that the coloring is right, especially for this card, my brand new have a magical birthday. It's like my magician card. It's kind of a warm card and I'm worried that when it's this color, it'll be too warm. So I have to check to make sure. This is my new graduation card. My only graduation card actually. I haven't made any other ones. This is my very first one. I really like it because it's like, I love books and I wanted to make something with books. And then I was like, oh, graduation, because I graduated in 2019 and, I, and I've been wanting to make one ever since. Anyway, then there's the Balloon Girl birthday card that I have. I love this one. It just says, happy B-Day, I heart you. So those are the test prints. And yeah, I'm gonna just be putting these in my discount. That's why they'll be put in the imperfect card pile. 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 <laughs> imperfect card pile. Okay, so looking at my butterfly card right now, I'm thinking that it's one of my new favorite ones. Um, so I'm super excited about this. I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like on natural paper because this is white paper. <laughs> So I got my um, proof today. It is Tuesday, the next day, and it looks really good. I have some changes that I need to make to it. I finally, <laughs> I finally got the right color. I'm so glad about that because I don't want to keep going back and going back again. Two of them are perfect, and then besides that, the other ones have just minor changes that I need to do. I'll show you guys. So like this wedding card, um, there's a little smudge here that needs to be taken out. And then I want to make sure like, is this perfectly centered? Because this one doesn't have a background, a colored background. So I can't tell exactly if it's like 
centered on the actual background. Um, and then this one, I want to make sure that the color of the hippo is completely saturated. Um, this one, I want to make sure, I just want to take another look at this one because I love this card. It's my mom's new favorite one. <laughs> These two are great. I love the coloring on them. And then this balloon girl one, I want to make sure that she's centered because when it's folded, I don't know if it's completely centered, but I love this one. It's so cute. And then this new elephant one, I love the background because I made it a little bit more pink than the last run because I felt like it needed it slightly and then, but it doesn't look quite as contrasted for some reason. But now I'm gonna go get some breakfast because it is almost 11 o'clock and I'm like dependent on breakfast and so I'm like a little bit tired because I've been so busy this morning going to the print shop and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm gonna get some breakfast and then after that, hopefully I can get these files ready to send to print. So I thought I'd just update you guys. I am almost done with my files. I'm getting really close. Um, and then I'm gonna send them off to print and hopefully they'll rush them through since I have orders waiting. I'm hoping that they'll be done at least by Friday. test prints um, that I've made in the past and whoops <laughs> I just knocked over that little tripod I think I'm while I'm at it I'm just gonna cut them up just like I did with these ones and then add them to the collection of imperfect prints that's what I'm gonna do